Okay, so this is the first video I have uploaded since um, uh, the video I made about the sound issues. What I'm going to try to do in this video is speak as clearly as possible, not too fast, and I'm going to raise my voice a bit because of the issues that I've been talking about. And I'll try not to keep it too long. So the issue I want to discuss in this video is, is digital technology, in fact, which I suppose is connected. Um, but more in general terms. So when I talk about digital technology, electronic technology, I'm just saying that to differentiate from traditional machine technology. Um, we absolutely use it all the time, especially in developed countries, but also in developing countries. I heard somewhere that Nigeria has, in some places, more mobile phones than access to running water. That's incredible if it's true. And it shows that the, the growth of this is really quite something. Um, the average 21st century person, the average 2016 person, will have some sort of iPad or cell phone or laptop. It's very, very rare, regardless of age, that someone wouldn't have any of those. Now, I, like many people, utilize this technology very often. I'm doing it right now. We use social network sites, Facebook, Twitter. We use uh, video sharing sites like YouTube. And this is a major, major part of our life. So much so that if, if my internet suddenly went down, I'd be pretty stressed out about it. And it's something I'm acutely aware of. In fact, it happened a few nights ago. So technology plays an enormous role in our lives. Now, I believe that predominantly it's probably a good thing for human progress. It allows information to be spread. It allows people to keep in touch with friends in other parts of the world. It allows more access to campaigns. So it serves multiple purposes. But I also feel concern that we sometimes are overly reliant on technology. Now, what I mean by this is at some point we might get to a point, in fact, we may have already got there, where people feel that technology as a medium is more important than direct communication. So, for example, if you organise a party, there's a strong chance that a lot of people will spend a good part of the night looking at their mobile phones instead of, uh, you know, joining in the games and so on. And I'm not, I don't want to exaggerate. It's not like, um, it's not the caricature image of that, but it does happen. And I think that's really unfortunate, as well as being rude. I don't think people should do it, and I don't think we can just blame technology. I think it also comes down to common sense. Um, no matter how much you like your phone or you enjoy the games on your phone, if you're, you know, if you're at someone's house at a party, that's the whole point if you're in their presence. I remember I I was with uh, an acquaintance in China and uh, she'd invited me to her city. She spent most of the time on her phone and on one hand she was being hospitable because she was letting me stay at her place. Um, so I, I didn't want to make too big an issue of this. But it did seem quite strange that most of the time we were socialising. Um, and her husband didn't seem to mind this, but she spent most of the time on the phone. Now, to be fair, she was a busy woman. She was a head teacher. But even so, I think that this sort of medium really, really does, I really hope the volume's coming through on this, really does uh, distract people. And it sometimes is downright annoying. I also find that this crosses over into everything. You know, uh, one thing when, I, when a lot of, um, excuse me, I'll rephrase that. A lot of coffee shops now have electronic vouchers, you know, five pounds worth or whatever. I don't like it. I, I don't think it's simple. I much prefer the little card where you just get a stamp. Nine stamps, you get a free drink. Um, because to me, an electronic card with five pounds worth, firstly, if, like me, you just get coffees or hot beverages, that isn't going to work out exactly. So you're actually going to lose some money. Maybe not much, but you're going to lose some money. Um, and I find that so much of the time it's argued that technology makes life easier. 
But when we rely on technology, firstly, uh, there's a technical malfunction that can sometimes happen. But then I don't, I don't agree that the electronic card sort of system approach is always the most simple way. I, I, it's like when you make a phone call to a company, very often nowadays you won't be speaking to a human being. It'll be an automatic, automated robot service. And you have to go through numerous options when you just want to speak to a human being to get to the problem. So I do feel that we can be at risk of relying too much on technology. This is a wide, wide range of issues. The Channel 4 series, I think it's Channel 4, with um, Gemma Chan, humans really taps into this. Now that, of course, is focusing more on uh, humanoid-type robots um, and some of the moral uh, issues around that. But it definitely touches on the issue of the role that technology plays in our lives. And it is an interesting subject. Now, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I I know Luddites. I take advantage of technology. I, I spend a lot of time on Facebook, on YouTube, etc. Um, I think it would be almost impossible to escape this in our lives. But I do think that people need to be aware that people come first. So let's not take this for granted. But let's remember people come first. So if you're on a date with someone, if you go to someone's party, don't spend the whole time on your mobile phone, your cell phone or your iPad. Talk to people. Have human communication. Because if that goes, then we are damned as a society. I really believe that. Um, I mean, put it this way. If I was on a date with a girl and she spent the whole time on her phone, looking at her phone, I, I would take it as a personal insult. Then I'd say, well, I'm sorry, this isn't going to work out. Have a nice evening. Goodbye. I really would. Because um, we really have to be assert from this. So let me know your thoughts. I really hope this comes through. I hope there's no volume issues. Um, thanks for watching.